Hello, I welcome to UPSC Prelim Chaturis Series of Shanta Lakshmi IAS Academy, where we will discuss the daily prelims MCQs from the Hindu Indian Express and PIB. Let's begin. The first question. Consider the following statements regarding Arogya Maitri Q. It is a revolutionary mobile hospital equipped with cutting-edge technology. It has been developed indigenously under the project Bish. Which of the statements given above is are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, none. Recently, Arogya Maitri Disaster Management Cube has been deployed in Ayodhya to bolster medical readiness and response capabilities during the upcoming Pran Pratishta ceremony. About this cube, it is a revolutionary mobile hospital equipped with cutting edge technology. And this cube is a part of the broader initiative named the Project Beach, that is nothing but. Bharat Health Initiative for Sahyog, Hita and Maitri. The features of this cube was it is tailored to treat up to 200 casualties, emphasizing rapid response and comprehensive care. The aid cube is equipped with several innovative tools designed to enhance disaster response and medical support during emergencies. It integrates artificial intelligence and data analytics to facilitate effective coordination, real-time monitoring, and efficient management of medical services in the field. These cubes are robust, waterproof, and light, designed for various configurations, making them ideal for diverse emergency scenarios. From air drops to ground transportation, the cube can be rapidly deployed anywhere, ensuring immediate responsibility response capability. The state-of-the-art beach software system integrated into a provided tablet allow operators to locate items quickly, monitor their usage and expire, and ensure readiness for subsequent deployments. So the answer is both one and two. Moving to the next question, with reference to great Indian bustard, Consider the following statements. It is listed as a endangered in the IUCN red list of species. It is among the heaviest of the flying birds. Great Indian busters are omnivores. How many of the statements given above is are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none of the above. The Supreme Court recently directed the center to come clean on its plans to save the critically endangered Great Indian Bustard. About the Great Indian Bustard, it is a bustard found on the Indian subcontinent. The scientific name of this was Ardeotis nigrosips. It is among the heaviest of the flying birds. The distribution of the, the, distribution of the Great Indian Bustard, the species has a current viable population of 100 to 150 individuals in India and mainly survive in the desert of Rajasthan that holds about 100 individuals. The habitat of Great Indian Bustard, it inhabits dry grasslands and scrublands. The features of this bustard, it is a large bird with a horizontal body and long bare legs, giving it an ostrich-like appearance. It can easily be distinguished by its black crown on the forehead contrasting with the pale neck and head. The lifespan of the Indian Great Bustard was 12 to 15 years. These birds are opportunist eaters. Their diet range is widely depending on the seasonal availability of the food. Seventy-two. Wildlife Protection Act 1972 Schedule 1 and uh, CITES Appendix 1. So the answer is only two because it is listed as a critically endangered endangered in the IUCN red list of species not endangered. Moving to the next question. Consider the following statements about Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. The FCRA was enacted in 1976 during emergency period due to concern about foreign interference in India's affairs. Public servants are prohibited from accepting foreign donations. 
which of the statements given above is are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, none. Recently, the Center for Policy Research, a leading Indian public policy think tank, had its FCRA license cancelled, culminating in a series of government actions in IT rates in September 2022. About this act, the FCRA was enacted in 1976 during emergency because the foreign interference, interference in India's affairs. The purpose of FCRA, which is a law enacted by the Parliament of India to regulate the acceptance and utilization of foreign contributions by individual associations and companies. Prohibition. The Act prohibits the receipt of foreign contributions for any activities detrimental to the national interest. Registration organization required the government permission to receive fund from abroad. Implementation. The act is implemented in convergence with various union government ministries and agencies, state authorities, and a network of formal and informal institutions and individuals. Amendments of FCRA. The act has been amended over a time with the latest amendment being the Foreign Contribution Amendment Act 2020. The bill make the following changes to the act. Public servants and foreign donation. Public servants are prohibited from accepting foreign donations. Restrictions on donation transfer. Foreign donations cannot be transferred to any other person regardless of their registration status under the act. So the answer is both one and two. Moving to the next question. The joint military exercise Khanjar was recently in use between which of the following countries? Main aim of this exercise was to boost defense cooperation and exchange expertise on counter-terrorism operations. The Khanjar exercise focused on honing special forces skills, including insertion, extraction, and ambush techniques. The exercise also offers an opportunity to display indigenous military equipment's capabilities. Overall, it intends to fortify India-Kyrgyzstan defense collaborations. The focus areas of this exercise was, as a part of the United Nations Charter, the drill concentrates on counter-terrorism scenarios in build-up areas as well as mountainous terrain. This involves planning and executing special operations while neutralizing stimulated terrorist threats. Terrorist threats, use of high-tech equipment for surveillance and combat operations is also being demonstrated. So the answer is D, India and Kyrgyzstan. Moving to the next question. With reference to Ayodhya Ram Mandir, consider the following statements. It is designed in the Nagara style. White makrana and colored marble have been used for the inlay work. Iron has been used in the construction. How many of the statements given above is are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none of the above. We all know yesterday, Ram Mandir was unveiled. The major construction materials used in the Ram Mandir are Bansi, Bharapuri, Pink Sandstone from Rajasthan and granite stones have been used in the plinths. White makrana and colored marbles have been used for the inlay work. Teak food has been used for the construction of the doors and temple. Special bricks with Sri Ram inscribed on them have been used in its construction. These bricks named Ram Shilas draw a parallel with the stones used in the construction of Ram Setu, thus intervening modern craftsmanship with ancient symbolism. Other materials used shalig, shaligram rock, copper plates, gold and ashtadhatu. The main temple is built in Nagara style. A 14 meter thick layer, a 14 meter thick layer of roller compacted concrete, looking like an artificial rock, has been used to construct the foundation of the temple. 
A 21-foot high plinth of granite has been constructed for protection against the ground moisture. The temple will consist of five mandapas in the middle of the gar Garbhagraha, Sanctum or Sanctum and on the entryway. So the answer is only two because iron has not been used in the construction of the Ram Mandir. Thank you. This is the today's session.